Russian command module. In March 2022, as the fighting on Ukrainian streets raged, the Twitter account at UA Weapons reported that Ukrainian soldiers had recovered a bizarre container which had seemingly been abandoned by occupying Russian troops. In addition to this report, UA Weapons posted several photographs of the mysterious object, which naturally was presumed to be a weapon of some sort. Whatever it was, it showed signs of damage and had clearly seen some combat action. Upon examination of the photographs, the exterior of the box was seen to be comparable to a small shipping container, but the interior told a very different story. The contents of the box revealed it to be a component of a Krasuka 4 electronic warfare system, specifically the command module. Ominously, Krasuka translates to Baladana, or Deadly Nightshade, in Russian. As a ground-based electronic warfare system, its primary role is to intercept and scramble airborne radio signals, radars, and reconnaissance satellites. The Krasuka 4 is recognized as a particularly powerful jamming instrument, one which is capable of interfering with signals over long distances, and even, in some cases, physically damaging electronic equipment. The specific command module in question was found lying on its side deep in Ukrainian territory and partially obscured from view by tree branches, making it unlikely to be seen by aerial reconnaissance. It remains unclear whether this concealment represents a deliberate attempt by the Russians to hide this container, for fear of surrendering valuable intel to Ukraine and its allies, or whether this is simply where the unit came to rest following an accident or conflict. It's also unclear what happened to the rest of the EW system, and why such a vital piece of equipment, which appears to be in reasonably good condition, was simply abandoned by Russian forces. Further adding to the strangeness of this discovery, the Krasuka 4 has especially long-range jamming abilities, raising the question, what was this command module doing so deep in Ukrainian territory in the first place? Since this command module may contain secrets and intel regarding Russian war technologies, and because of the suspicious circumstances under which it was found, the unit was recovered and sent to the United States for examination. Mystery Warhead In its invasion of Ukraine, Russia has employed an array of weapons, some of which are unlike anything that the Western world has seen. In March 2022, Ukrainian soldiers and civilians alike began to discover small dart-like missiles buried in the earth and concrete around areas that had been shelled. Approximately one foot long, with an orange tail, these projectiles were clearly not intended to deliver devastating payloads by themselves, and those that were recovered showed no sign of explosive damage. Unofficially, the missile was nicknamed 9B-899, taken from figures discovered on the plastic tail section of the objects. When people began to speculate about the missiles on social media, many assumed that they were bomblets from cluster weapons, but this was revealed not to be the case. Simultaneously, Ukraine and its allies were examining photographs of the Russian Iskander-M missile and attempting to identify the purpose of circular caps found at the back of the missiles. When user Collective Awareness to UXO took to Twitter and reached out for help in the identification of the previously unseen 9B-899, it was suggested that the missiles may be potential decoy devices. The purpose of a decoy in the context of aerial warfare is as a countermeasure to jamming systems, which are designed to scramble signals and intercept missiles. Therefore, by deploying decoy devices at the correct moment, a missile vastly improves its chances of reaching the primary target. It was eventually confirmed that the circular caps seen at the back of Iskander missiles are for the storage and deployment of decoy penetration aids, and that they correspond to the diameter of the 9B-899 darts. Putting that information together, it became clear that the decoy munitions which were being found had in fact come from the tail end of the Iskander missiles, being used to hammer Ukrainian troops and towns. However, while this explanation seemed to make sense, something didn't quite add up. 
As Ukraine doesn't have the capabilities to intercept Iskander missiles in the first place, it remains a mystery as to why Russia would use these new decoy systems and potentially reveal their technological secrets. It represents a strange and curious tactical decision, one which we are yet to understand. Mystery Drone Crashes in Croatia One night in early March, residents of Croatia's capital city, Zagreb, were awoken by the ear-splitting sound of an explosion. Emerging from their homes, locals found a crater scattered with debris. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, but questions were raised. What had caused such an explosion, and was it something to do with the fighting over a thousand kilometers away in Ukraine? Croatia is, after all, uninvolved in the conflict, and it doesn't even share a border with Ukraine. Scouring the wreckage, officials came to believe that they were looking at the remains of a Soviet-era Tu-141 aircraft, a drone typically employed by the Ukrainian army for reconnaissance. However, upon closer inspection, explosive traces and bomb components were found. Fortunately, as it crashed into soft earth, the explosion had detonated underground, thus minimizing damage to the surrounding area. Zagreb's mayor, Tomislav Tomashevich, commented that it was, quote, amazing that no one was hurt, and noted the unprecedented nature of the occurrence. It was promised that an investigation into the origins of the mysterious and potentially deadly drone would take place. While Ukraine is the only country that still officially uses these 1970s Soviet drones, the Ukrainian ambassador to Croatia insisted that the drone did not belong to the Ukrainian military, and markings found on the wreck would later confirm this. One source hypothesized that the drone may have been deployed by Russian troops and programmed to fly to the Yarun region of Ukraine. According to this theory, a simple GPS programming error led the drone to the similar-sounding Jarun neighborhood of Zagreb. However, this explanation seemed too simple, too convenient for others. Even more baffling than the drone's origin is the question of how, despite being unsophisticated and outdated, while also weighing six tons and carrying a 120-kilogram bomb, it successfully navigated the airspaces of three NATO countries without being detected or intercepted. To this day, the true origins of the drone, as well as its methods of evasion, remain unknown. Zala Kubla Drone As Russian troops closed in on Kiev, the capital and central stronghold of Ukraine's defense, as well as the main location of President Zelensky, the potential for using weaponry with shorter ranges and devastating capabilities came into play. Amongst Russian munitions is the Kubla Kamikaze drone, also known as a loitering munition, which is manufactured by a subsidiary of the infamous Kalashnikov company. A loitering munition is an aerial weapon whose purpose is to passively and discreetly linger nearby its target until the perfect moment to strike arises. In the case of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the use of loitering munitions in Kiev, it is suspected that this perfect moment would be when high-profile individuals are in the vicinity. In other words, assassination. Despite having a wingspan of just 1.2 meters, this brutal device can carry a 3-kilogram payload at up to 130 kilometers per hour, and when it reaches its destination, it employs advanced AI technology to identify its target. But even modern weapons such as these have weaknesses. The drone's flight time is limited to just 30 minutes, rendering it suitable for short-range warfare only. In early March 2022, one particular Kubla drone was shot down and recovered by Ukrainian forces. Disturbingly, upon examination, the drone was found to be housing approximately one kilogram of C4 explosives, surrounded by metal ball bearings. The potential devastation of such weapons, combined with their localized accuracy and ability to identify specific targets, potentially makes them one of the deadliest devices in the skies. T-80UM-2 Black Eagle Prototype Tank There have been a few occurrences of Russian forces deploying experimental and unique weapons in their invasion of Ukraine, including novel decoy systems and rare armored vehicles. When exploring the debris of a skirmish on March 17, 2022, the Ukrainian military discovered that they had destroyed one of these, 
an unfamiliar tank. After matching the debris to photographs taken at Russian warfare equipment parades, it was confirmed and reported by the Oryx blog, who have been recording material losses in the Russian war on Ukraine, that the ruined vehicle was in fact a one-of-a-kind T-80 UM-2 prototype tank. The T-80 UM-2 is a completely unique vehicle, known to be part of a new tank development project, along with another rare machine named the Black Eagle, with which it has a great deal in common. Photographic evidence of the Russian loss clearly shows the prototype tank with a burnt-out hull and its turret completely detached. This particularly deadly tank was being considered to take the place of the Russian army's main battle tank, in which case it would be mass-produced. It is not entirely clear how the Ukrainian defenders managed to destroy this state-of-the-art war machine, which is fitted with radar systems, reactive armor, and even the Droz-2 active protection system, which spots close threats such as anti-tank rockets and counters them using explosive munitions. However, the real mystery lies in Russia's motive for sending such a prototype into the fray of battle, as one-offs and unique or experimental weapons are rarely used in practical scenarios. Some believe that Russia was simply assessing the performance of the T-80 UM-2 in a real-life setting, whereas others have suggested that the hasty decision to send a one-off prototype into war may indicate that Russia had lost larger amounts of their traditional weaponry than expected in the early parts of the war. Whatever the truth behind Russia's mysterious motive for deploying an experimental prototype, the tank appears to have failed the test. For more incredible, sometimes mysterious military technology, be sure to check out and subscribe to Dark Tech via the link on screen or in the description. And as always, thank you for watching Dark 5. Be sure to like this video to show your support, and tune in again next time for the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.